So uh, time for another q and I'll be shooting a bunch today just to uh, get some out of the way. So uh, Seamus asks, hey Alex, my question is in regard to weight class selection. Do you advise trying to get as strong as possible at the class closest to your natural weight or putting on some lean body mass in order to move up a weight class or two? I've heard opinions on both. I would love to hear your, your opinion. So uh, Seamus, uh, my take on body weight is this. So as long as you are uh, eating uh, quote unquote clean, so that means uh, you know good um, meats, unprocessed meats, uh, you know good carbohydrates, good uh, good fats, um, your body will naturally uh, come in line with your training and your eating. So I mean, uh, if you're competing at the local level, then I wouldn't uh, concern yourself with weight class manipulation. Uh, the only time that uh, weight class manipulation will come to play is if you are uh, contending for a national title. Uh, so let's say you may be more competitive in the weight class below, you may be more competitive in your current uh, weight class, or you may be uh, more competitive in the next weight class. So in general, uh, in terms of uh, competing at a high level, you want to be at the top of your weight class. So. Uh, if you're competing at, for example, 145, then uh, you know ideally you may want to be a few pounds over that weight class. So uh, cutting an entire weight class, uh, you know, isn't a great idea. But again, if you are in the uh, position where you can uh, improve your placing at a national competition, then uh, again, that's something to consider. But again, I would not uh, consider doing too drastic of a weight uh, change. If, for example, uh, if you're uh, above the weight class completely, um, you know, an additional, let's say you're trying to cut to 132, sorry, 130, and you're weighing at 150, then, uh, you know, in that case, I wouldn't think that's a good idea. But, uh, I mean, if you are in the middle of a weight class, so let's say you're in between 145 and uh, 163, uh, you may want to fill out 163. So it's a uh, circumstantial uh, question. So, again, if you are competing at a high stage and you are trying to improve your placement, then yes, I would uh, consider um, you know, adding muscle mass or cutting water weight. Uh, but if you're competing at a local level, then I would not uh, uh, concern yourself with uh, your body man manipulation too much. However, um, you want to be at the top of your weight class. Uh, so uh, if you're just beginning in powerlifting, then again, just enter as is. I mean, uh, your your body will fall into one of the weight classes anyway. So, um, also you shouldn't let uh, gaining a certain amount of lean body mass uh, prevent you from uh, doing a competition, because you know it may take uh, an extended amount of time to gain a certain amount of lean body mass, or uh, it may take a certain amount of time to cut a certain weight, uh, uh, to cut to a certain body weight. So. Uh, Again, uh, as long as you are eating, um, you know, well, you're eating unprocessed foods, whole foods, um, on a consistent basis, and you're training again frequently, then um, you know naturally your your body will go in place to a certain weight class. So, again, uh, just to recap, if you are uh, vying for a national title, uh, then it, you should uh, seriously consider um, determining if you need to gain some mass or cut water weight. Uh, so. That's only for a national title, but if you're a be beginning powerlifter uh, trying to enter into local competition, just enter as is. Again, uh, placement really doesn't matter at these small competitions because uh, at these small competitions, everyone wins. Uh, let, let, let's face it. Actually, the, the past competition that I was at in New Jersey States, um, the uh, meet, director, meet director actually ran out of uh, medals because everyone was uh, being rewarded placed from uh, first to fifth place. Uh, so... Uh, it's important at the local level you be as comfortable as possible, but uh, you have to take into serious consideration any type of uh, weight change, fluctuation, or uh, uh, you know lean body mass gain or water cut uh, if you're uh, going to a big competition and you're actually trying to fight for a, a position or fight for a, a medal placement um, at the national stage or international stage. So uh, uh, that's it. I uh, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.